What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using the crocodile alligator. Really, what, what is this? I, I'm kind of confused. We got Skelly Dirge for Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Skelly Dirge, this Pokemon is a ton of fun. I absolutely love this Pokemon due to its typing of fire and goes. I just think it's such a dope typing, especially for a final evolution for a starter. This Skelly Dirge right here is rocking unaware as its ability with Throat Spray and Torch Song. So every time we use Torch Song, well, at least for the first time, we will get a plus two boost in Special Attack instead of a plus one boost from Torch Song. This is because Torch Song gives you a plus one boost in Special Attack, and on top of that, the Throat Spray will, giving us plus two. We love being plus two, doing big time damage with Skelly Dirge that way. This Pokemon also has Shadow Ball. It's got Terra Blast with the Grass Terra type. And last but not least, it is Rocking Protect. Super excited to be using this Pokemon and super excited for this Pokemon to be back in the format with Regulation H on its way. Other Pokemon on today's team features Tyranitar and Garchomp. We all know about that combo. Garchomp thrives out with Sand Veil. Titar's got Sand Stream. Garchomp also has Sword Stance with EQ and Dragon Claw doing big time damage. And Tyranitar having its normal move set of Rock Slide, Knock Off, Low Kick, and Terra Blast. Our final three Pokemon consist of two support Pokemon, Murkrow and Amoongus. And then we have one nice little special attacker with a choice scarf going to be Rotom Wash. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, Make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match using the Skelly Dirge team. Time to get rocking with our boy Skelly Dirge going up against a nice little half snow team, I should say. Best caliber, nine tails. We used that actually in yesterday's video, so cool to see that. They also have Murkrow. They got Nihilate and Cinderace. No six slot, so they're like, screw it. We're going into the battle without a six slot. But for starters here, let's get out our Skelly Skelly Dirge. Nice little Skelly Dirge action here in match number one. And I like it as a lead. Um, we could go Murkrow to match their Tailwind if they want to do that. And honestly, I don't mind that because we have Quash on this bad boy as well. Can't Quash up. I don't mind Quashing up. Hmm. I got to bring T-Tar just in case weather control is a thing. Um, I could honestly just go into Rotom. You got Volt Switch, don't you? My dog. Yeah, we're going to go into you. We're going to bring T-Tar. And last but not least, did we go Garchomp? Hmm. Are we going with Merkur? Speed control could be a little bit of a problem for us. Actually, I think we're fine. I think we're fine with going into like a Pokemon more so like Amoongus. Actually, no, you're Ice type. You know what? We're going into Murkrow. Yeah, I'd rather I'd rather you than Garchomp. Garchomp just oh my god! If one of them has Ice Shard, it's Night Night to him. Four times super effective. He's just gonna get dropped. He's just gonna get dropped. So I'm not even bringing Garchomp. I don't feel like that thing. Or I don't want to see that Pokemon get one tapped by an Ice type Pokemon. We just don't want it. So I'm just gonna bring my Skelly Dirge. My Skelly Skelly Dirge. And uh, look to get boosted on that special attack. But they do end up going Murkrow. So this is a simple Volt Switch play for us. Actually, it's not. I lied. I totally lied. It's not a simple Volt Switch play. Because if Murkrow... If Murkrow Tailwinds, then this Ninetales is going to be faster than my Choice Scarf Road Time. Which we will not allow. We, we, we won't let that happen. So I'm going to go for Torch Song. I'm going to send it into the Ninetales slot. Um, actually, I might send it into the Murkrow slot. No, you know, we'll, we'll stay true to our guns. We'll send it into the Ninetales slot. And we'll just hard swap the Rotom. Save him for later, and we'll go right into Tyranitar. Changing up this weather. We're just not dealing with that. Hoping no Terror type comes out here from Ninetales, which is kind of why I want to put the shot in the Murkrow. But there might be an off chance that it doesn't. And I really hope it doesn't. Don't waste your Terror on Ninetales. Let's go. You set Misty Terrain. Hold up. Set Misty Terrain. That's, that's fine by me. Gonna have dragon moves, and you're gonna go for a snarl. How dare you, Murkrow? Oh, you are you are in for it. I'm so tired of you. Dropping my special attack. Good thing I got that throat spray here. So I'm gonna be boosting the plus one. How much damage is this gonna do though? Respectable. Respectable damage. I don't mind it. We're now plus one, uh, and chances are he's gonna go for another snarl. So I think from here, our best bet is to just drop like a rock slide. And protect Skelly Dirge and just start chipping up damage on the Murkrow. So I, I can't have this thing just snarling down my boy. We can't allow that. So I'll do that. I will go into a Rock Slide. And we'll see how this one plays out here. Will they swap the Ninetales? That's the real question. Try to get weather control. But Misty Terrain is here. The Mystical Terrain. Now obviously, Misty Terrain was used a lot more in previous formats. Other than Scarlet and Violet. You've seen a good bit in Sword and Shield. And especially in like Sun and Moon era. But Misty Terrain to Scarlet and Violet? Real rare. Definitely real rare. So he ends up hard swapping into Annihilate. And I'm just going to protect my Skelly Skelly Dirge. 
You gotta be going for another snow, correct? Go for it. You got haze. Oh, man. You're getting rid of all my stat changes. How dare you? Probably should attack, though. Would have been nice. Box is gonna connect, which is good news. Mercury's gonna take a big chunk of damage. And so is it. Nine leap. Um. Now he's definitely gonna set up a tailwind, which is my main problem here. It is my main problem. I mean, he can go for a ghost type move. We could just hard swap into, like, Murkrow of our own. And yeah, I think that's a good call for us. We're going to go into our own Murkrow. We're going to drop a Rock Slide. Chip up damage onto the Nihilate. Try to take out the Murkrow. Chance already pops his Tailwind finally. And then I get out my Murkrow. I can see him going for Tailwind and, like, Rage Fist into Skelly Dirge. Or Drain Punch. Oh, man. Maybe we should Terrasalize our Titar. But I still think you go for Rage Fist knowing we just protect the uh, Skelly Dirge. So we might have to Terrasalize our Tarantar next turn if they do not go for Drain Punch here. Green Punch is looking terrifying, but Murkrow is going to come out here for us. There goes their Tailwind, finally. I got my own Murkrow on the field, and show me going for Rage Fist. Yes, good call for us. Great call for us. He ends up going for Rage Fist, trying to tackle down the Skelly Dirge. Murkrow is going to be able to soak. And Rock Slide is going to connect, picking up the KO onto Murkrow. So again, now it's a great turn for us to Terrasalize slice this T-Tar. Go into Flying type, maybe send a Terra Blast. Alongside with a Tailwind to match the speed. I'm so bad at it. But they're definitely going to go in the what's called the Nine Tails. So we'll see Nine Tails pop out here. And go for an Aurora Veil, vale, maybe? Could go for an Aurora Veil. Vale. There's Nine Tails. I could take it out. Actually, you're going to outspeed us, so you get off Aurora Veil vale regardless. Regardless. I could taunt it. Oh, I can taunt it. And just terrestrialize. Oh, yeah, I'm so down with that. I'm so down with that. We're going to taunt this bad boy. Actually, can you taunt? Hold up. What does Misty Terrain do? Let's read up on this bad boy. Misty Terrain. For five turns, Pokemon on the ground won't get any status conditions. Okay. Damage of Dragon types are half. I think... Can you... You can still taunt. I'm pretty sure you can still taunt. I'm gonna be real upset if you can't. So I'm gonna go for taunt. I'm gonna go for Terra Blast. I'm pretty sure you can still taunt. Actually, I'm not sure if taunt is considered a status condition. When I think of status conditions, I'm thinking, like, paralyzes, burns. I'm pretty... Yeah, no, I know it stops burns. But now we're going to Terrasalize. Chance our Drain Punch from Annihilate is going to launch over here. Taunt, you better be working here. Unless I don't know my Pokemon knowledge. Taunt is working. Cool. Cool. So we taunt the Ninetales. We say, hey, yo, I know you're going for a Roar Bell. We won't allow it. We simply... You got Mental Herb. Come on, man. You go for Dazzle Gleam anyway. That's fine by me. Actually, Murkrow takes a nice chunk of damage. And there's Drain Punch into Murkrow. Wow. The double down into Murkrow. Well, at least they didn't set off a War Bell. I think we KO this, uh, this Annihilate here. The double down into Murkrow. You think I was protected? Probably. The double down into Murkrow. So out comes Terra Blast. Bop. Bye-bye, Annihilate. And we still have Skelly Dirge on the field. Or in the back end, we still have, uh, Rotom. We want to send it, and I think now's a good turn for us to go into Skelly Dirge. Skelly Dirge. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I am scared of the Ice type moves because Bex Calibur is going to come out. But, what's the plan here? Who do we attack? Who do we attack? I think we just go here, and on top of that, if we can land a Rock Slide, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. A little stab action. We are a bad Terror type now. But, if I can just land a Rock Slide, man, that's all I need. I actually land, like, one of these Rock Slides. Chances are they're going to Rock Slides here. Probably back Excalibur, which I wouldn't mind. And no, they've set up the War Veil. They had a couple turns left in Tailwind. This might be their last, actually. Let's see what he ends up doing. He's going to go for Icicle Spear. That's KOing us all day. Bye-bye. So, t is going to be gone unless... No, you're, you're dead. You're dead. This thing's loaded dice. I was going to say, unless you can survive the four turns. But... You die out here. Okay, so we have Rotom left, who isn't bad typing-wise here. And if Skelly Dirge can pick up some nice damage, maybe get a KO here. I don't think it can, get, it can get a KO, but still, the damage should be rather high here. So close. And now we got the Chewy Scarf Rotom. Is Tailwind gone? Show me Tailwind's done. I think they got one more turn left in Tailwind. They definitely do. They definitely do. They definitely do. So, let's check this out. One turn left in Tailwind. A couple turns left in Snow. They got a Roar Bell out and about. I think we have to make a big time Protect play here. 
So I'm gonna end up protecting the uh the Skelly Dirge because I think Bax Caliber is going to attack the Skelly Dirge with like Glee Rush. And then from here, do we web up or do we just volt switch pivot? We need something to KO the Nine Tails here. I really don't want to go for Hydro Pump, but we're choicing right now. You gotta remember we're choicing. Let's just choice in a bolt switch. This is tough for us. It's real tough for us. We're gonna go with the volt switch though. So I protect the Skelly Dirge, hoping to get some speed later. Freeze dry launches. Oh man. What time soaks? And high horsepower. Oh yeah, that's that's scary right there. That is scary right there. High horsepower. That is real scary. Now it turns to a 2v1. But Bax Caliber chilling here on the field with high horsepower. We don't like this. We don't like this at all. Gotta go for Torch Song though. Gotta go for Torch Song. And I'm choosing a uh, Volt Switch. The Tailwind's gone. I believe Bax Caliber is gonna be faster than our Skelly Dirge. And this is just such a solid first match here. And we're looking to just start KO. He's going to Terrastalize. Hold up. Please don't be ground. It's definitely ground, isn't it? Be like Steel or something. Dragon. The worst possible one for us. <laughs> Thanks for playing. It's going to be Glaive Rush. Or is it going to be high horsepower here? Again. Volt Switch going to pivot out. Do negative five damage. This is just like the worst possible typing for us. He's going to go for a Breaking Swipe. Hold up. Skelly Dirt should soak this. But the problem here is we know we're not... We know we're not picking up a KO. We know we're not picking up a KO. And this backs Caliber. Gonna get the best of us. We're gonna end up losing match number one. GG to our opponent. GG to our opponent. Torch Song gonna fly here. Oh my. Soaked. This thing's soaking it. It's in the snow too. And he got Thermal Exchange. I totally forgot about that. That's GG's. I'm just gonna run this match. Good game to our opponent. We're start off 0-1. Let's go hop to our second match. Look for our first victory. Moving on to our second match, looking for our first win for today's video, going up against a Trick Room team. Now, we're sitting on one. We'd love to bounce back here, grab ourselves a win here, but this one's going to be tough. Hisui and Logan with Torkoal. We're definitely going to need T-Tar for weather control. Could be really good for us. Um, hmm. Do I lead T-Tar? No, I think it should be a back-end play for me. I think leading Skelly Dirge could be good for us, especially because we can't be affected by Intimidate or Fake Out on Incineroar. And on top of that, we're in the sun. We can do some nice damage. We can definitely do some nice damage. So I'm going to go into my boy Skelly Dirge. I'm also going to lead Garchomp here. Yeah, and then bring Titar and Amoongus. I think that's definitely in our best bet because I can Spore if they want to set up Trick Room. I have Weather Control if I need it. And if by leading Garchomp, I can set up a Sword Dance. So if I see them going for like a Trick Room or have a Trick Room Pokemon out, I can just set up a Sword Dance, go plus two on Skelly Dirge with Torch Song, and kind of have that dual threat of big time special attacker, big time physical attacker on the field posing a big time threat so let's see who they end up leading here who you got who's coming out here is it gonna be Torkoal and Logan or it's gonna be Incineroar and Ferrigraph so obviously fake out's gonna come out here Intimidate's not gonna affect my guard chomp which is good news um I gotta try to go for a sword dance because if you go for knockoff we have to have a Pokemon here ready to go so I'm gonna go for Torch Song try to boost my stats and I'm gonna go for a sword dance here actually what's your Terra Steel yeah no Let's go into a sword dance here. He's gonna fake out the guard charm. I probably should have protected it, but on the off chance that he maybe goes for like a knockoff into Skelly Dirge, I think Skelly Dirge can soak and then we could just go into a sword dance and have that. So I'd rather take the damage and take the risk than, than anything, right? So what's fake out gonna do? 15 damage? I'm down to take that. I'm down to take that. A little risky play. Risk 15 damage for a sword dance? I'll take it. I'll take it. Who knows, he might even swap. Oh, he's going to ally switch. That's, that's a little odd. It's a little odd swap. No Trick Room comes out here, and I get off a of Swords Dance. So he is going to probably go for the knockoff here in the Skelly Dirge. Skelly Dirge outspeed it does. That's good news for us. That's really good news for us. That's about negative five, but we're going to go plus two on special attack. So can you soak up whatever Incineroar has to offer? Please don't be Will-O-Wisp here. God, man, I hate this game. He's gonna burn my guard charm. Luckily, we did go for a sword dance that last turn. That might be another good turn for us to go for sword dance. Just keep boosting here. Go for another torch song here. I'm gonna go for another sword dance. 
Let's keep boosting. They're not doing any crazy damage to me. We're trying to launch plus two. Do solid damage. Now we're plus three. There's a parting shot. Still plus two. And they're going to go for Trick Room here. Oh man, you're going to go Trick Room into Torkoal? That is an option. And I'm plus four on Garchomp. I know I'm burned, but being plus four is nuts. But they go into Torkoal here. We're just going to hard swap into T Tar. I know it's going to be Ursa Luna Bear. And there's the Trick Room. Hmm. Still, to be honest, swapping in T-Tar is definitely our play. We got to go for the Sand Veil. We have got to go for the Sand Veil. It's Sand Veil time. It is so Sand Veil time. Could actually just go into a Moogus to protect Garchomp. That's actually a little bit better for us. Being this slow. Yeah, you know what? That's going to be my play. Let's protect the Chomp. Let's go into a Moogus because I could probably put like Ursaluna to sleep. A turn after. And then start throwing like Dragon Claws or maybe even Sword Sansen again. We'll play this one slow. We'll play this one real slow. So we're hoping they're attacking my uh my guard chomp here. That could be really nice for us. And we'll see a Terra come out here from probably the Ursa Luna. Yep, Ursaluna all dead. So Ursaluna's gonna win into normal type, which leads me to say that he's going after Guard Chomp rather than the Skelly Dirt slot, unless you're making a read of me swapping. Actually, I can't put Ursula to sleep. I just realized that. Go for Rage Powder, though. Oh, I switch flies. Go after Garchomp. You gotta be going after Garchomp. Yep. So we go to the Garchomp. Um, we're just gonna chip up. What's my play here? I could swap Garchomp for... Go into Rage Powder, too. I could swap Garchomp for... What's it called? I could swap Garchomp, or I could just go here, go for Rage Powder, and then just Dragon Call and see how much damage this is going to do. Yeah, I like that. I was going to say, I could swap Garchomp for Skelly Dirge if I want to. Hmm. Maybe I should just Terrasalize. I mean, Garchomp's plus four. I want to see how much damage it could do, because its damage is probably decent. It ends up withdrawing for Rigoraph. That's fine. Who are you going to go into from here? Torkoal, maybe? You gonna show your final Pokemon, or are you going back into Sinor? Amoonga is gonna be your final Pokemon. It's just gonna protect our Ur Ursaluna. All right, so he wants to put my Pokemon to sleep. Um, okay, sure, go ahead. And probably just just protect Garchomp this turn, or I can keep it in here. I could definitely keep it in here. We are wasting our Trick Room turns rather well. Let's be honest here. Burns doing me dirty right now, though. Slowly dying out the burn. Um, could heal Garchomp up. I could attack. I mean, probably a simple protect is where we want to be here. I could honestly just swap into T Tar here. I'm gonna swap into Skelly Dirge. And I'm going to protect here. I'm going to read a facade into the Moonga slot. I'm going to read a facade into this Moonga slot. Man, we're going up against some good opponents today. I'm going to read the facade. He's going he's gonna to read my protect and attack my Moongus, I think. That's fine. Rage Powder's fine. Where are you going here? Oh, he's going into Garchomp. Okay. So now I got Skelly Dirge on the field. I might just, honestly, how many turns will I have to trick him? How many turns will I have to trick him? Because you might spore my Skelly Dirge. And now's a good turn for us to just go here. Rasslice Grass, dodge the spore. Swap into T-Tar. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm Sword Sands boosted. That's my one problem here. Do I go for double protect? No, we're gonna swap a T-Tar. We'll save our Garchomp. I mean, I know we're burned. But I, I just feel as going into Guard or keeping our Garchomp could be good for us. So we waste out Trick Room turns pretty well here. 
If I had to guess, Spore has to be launching into this Skyward slot. Spore has got to be launching here. If I could chunk up some damage, that'd be good. And then maybe go for like a low kick into that Ursaluna. Maybe even double down the turn after. Could protect it though. I'm, I'm kind of scared here. We, we're going to use our Terror type here. This is just such a good match. Hmm. Thinking, 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 guys. We're 0 1. I would love to grab this win here. But our opponent's playing this one good. We're playing pretty good here as well. There's Sandstream cooking up. We're going to Terrasalize in the grass. Because I'm guessing this Amoongus has got the spore, right? This Amoongus has got the spore. And I think Facade's still going to launch into Garchomp slot. So we'll Terrasalize. Show me the spore. There's the spore. Easy reads all day. Does not affect me. And there's the facade going into Titar, right? Yep. Going into Titar. Still should do nice damage. Wow. That's a lot of damage. But better than Garchomp dying out. Torch Song going to launch here. Do respectable damage. Trick Room is now over. It is gone! Trick Room is now gone. That's good news for us. So, low kick. That's the real question. How much damage are you doing, low kick? I could, honestly, instead of going for low kick. Say that Rock Slide would KO this Amoongus. Which I think it can. And we could just go like Torch Song. Or like Terror Blast in this slot. I mean, Torch Song would do more damage. Actually, they would do the same. But I'd rather get that special attack boost. So, you know what? I'm going to do this and I'm just going to drop a Rock Slide instead of going for low kick. Because this should KO the Amoongus. If I don't miss. Oh man, if I miss here, I might cry. Might just cry. Might just cry. So I'm going to go for Rock Slide. Chip up damage. Have the chance for flinches. I feel like Rock Slide should be a move that hits 100% in the Sandstorm. So he's going to get Regenerator back. Rock Slide's still launching. And he's probably just protecting the Ursaluna. Going to Incineroar here. Intimidate me. How dare you? How dare you? Of course, so I'm going to launch. How much damage are we doing to Ursaluna? Hmm. I don't think we KO here. I really don't think we KO, which is sad. Can I get a flinch at least? Can I get a flinch at least? No, facade launching. Oh no. KO my Skelly Dirge. A Skelly Dirge, man. I should just low kicked. I should have low kicked. I should have low kicked. Oh, now we're sitting. Now we're sitting in a rough spot. Now we're sitting in a rough spot with a Moongus on my burned Pokemon. Oh man. Incineroar's just goaded, man. It's just such a good Pokemon. I should've just low kicked. I should've just low kicked. Got this thing on one. I mean, I could protect Garchomp this turn. Have Sandstorm KO. Maybe swap it to Amoongus. I could go into Amoongus. No, I'd rather just go into Garchomp and protect. And swap. Mm, yeah. Real tough news for us right now. This is this is a tough matchup for us. We're gonna need our T-Tar. We're definitely gonna need our T-Tar. So I'm gonna protect, have Sandstorm buff its KO. We're gonna go into a Moongus here. Get my attack stat back on my T-Tar. Go from there. Alright. Cool. You gotta be attacking. You gotta be attacking Garchomp here. Wow, just as we were starting to look good. This Incineroar came out here and just did us dirty. He's like, nope, intimidate your rock slide, not KOing. Rough news from us. So this is a great match. I'm glad I'm getting this one on recording. Even if we, we do end up losing, which we still have a chance to win, but they got the slight upper hand right now. We're going to have to make some plays to win this one. We're definitely going to have to make some plays here. We're going to go into Amoongus here, and he's going to withdraw the bear. You're going into... Ferrigi or Amoongus? Burgraph comes out. Okay. We're going to protect the chomp. Maybe should have went for a sword stance there. He's trying to burn this T-Tar slot. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to have to put this... Uh, We're going to have to put this uh, Furgraph to sleep. You could go for Flare Blitz here. Take some recoil, but I'm going to try to set up a sword stance. I'm going to go for Swords Dance. I am going to go for a Spore here. 
I could heal up the Garchomp, but that might be like an next turn kind of play. I can't allow him to set up another Trick Room and just get all, get uh, Ursuline back out here to do work. But I know their final Pokemon. I know their final Pokemon. Ursuline is their main hitter, and Sinnoh is probably secondary hitter. But I mean, if I can just, you know, go into this. Start trying to pick up KOs. He's going to go for Parting Shot. And I got Clear Amulet. Woohoo! That's a big turn for us. He's going to go for Psychic, which we should soak. We're, we're, we're full HP. Cool, we do soak it. We put Frigger after sleep. That clear amulet. Might have just clutched up. I forgot about our clear amulet. He forgot. So now we got Spore cooking. I can Pollen Puff this Garchomp if I want to. And I think that is going to be my play. Pollen Puff Garchomp. Attack Frigograph. Because Frigograph's going to attack uh, Incineroar. I could Rage Powder here. But I'd rather go for Pollen Puff. And just Dragon Claw this slot down. So I would love to get back HP here for Garchomp. Would love it. Would love it. And they honestly might swap Incineroar right here. They might swap Incineroar. Wow, this is such a good matchup, man. This is such a good match. So, Frigraph's guaranteed to be asleep here. Good news for us. Sandstorm should be ending soon. We have T-Tar in the back end. It's a long battle. It's a long battle here. Dragon Claw gonna launch here. Do decent damage. We like that. Knockoff's gonna launch here. I was hoping you would soak. But still, Frigograph is slumped. Frigograph slump knocked off my mental herb. Start attacking from here. Sandstorm's gone. We're gonna reset it right now with Sandvale. And I think now is just a good time for us to go into like rock slides and drag claws. Look to win. Look to win here. So we really got to hope that Frigograph at least has a two-turn sleep here, right? Because if I can double down into this Incineroar slot and get rid of it... Oh, baby, that'd be massive. Actually, dude, Rock Slide should KO. Rock Slide should KO, so I'm going to Dragon Claw that slot. I think Rock Slide should KO this Incineroar. They have a Moongus, we know that. And chances are they're going to swap into a Moongus. Let's be honest here. And then try to swap back into Incineroar. Yeah. So, out goes Incineroar. In comes a Moongus. Maybe I should have set up another Sword Sands here. Oh, out comes Ursa Luna. That's fine. Dragon Call is going to finish you off, and we're going to get rid of Ursa Luna. So now it turns into a match that we can have a shot at winning. Now it turns into a match that we have a shot at winning. Hold up. Wait a minute. We're here. We're here. The match is starting to fall into place here. They got Fake Out ready to go. They can Fake Out Spore, which is the big problem on our hands. It is the big problem on our hands. I kind of wish we had Protect here on T-Tar. So I would just double Protect. He's going to he's gonna fake out T-Tar and try to put... Oh, man. He's going to put T-Tar to sleep. Or he might just Rage Powder. Do I go for... Oh, dude. I really want to go for EQ here. I could Sword Stance. Sporing somebody, that's the problem. I'm gonna sword stance rock slide. Rock slide, do something. Do something, rock slide. Do something, rock slide. Flinch, give me a flinch. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch. Give me a flinch. No, palm puff launching. Oh, we tried healing up Incineroar. <gasps> oh my god, what a match. 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 Dragon Claw into Knockoff? Yeah, I'd rather take the Accuracy. I'd rather take the Accuracy. We're going for Knockoff. Dragon Claw into Knockoff for the win? Come on, man. What a match. What a match. Rocky Helmet comes out here. We're going to finish this one off, and we're going to win this long, drawn-out battle. And honestly, I think this battle was long enough. We're going to keep this video at two battles. Thanks for playing. One and one for today's video. All I can say is, wow, what a second match. That match was insane. We're only going to be doing two battles for today's video, considering that second match was so long. What was it? 15, 20 minutes? Actually, I'm not too sure, but it was definitely really, really long. We end up going one and one for today's video. First match didn't really go our way. Our opponent ended up playing really well. And second match, our opponent still played really well. Just went up against some good opponents today and had a great video. So one and one, we'll take a nice little tying record today. Showcasing Skelly Dirge, T-Tar, and Garchomp. 
This team was absolutely amazing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.